Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another very interesting interview experience. So we have Divas here with us today who has been recently placed at Treedens as a part of his campus placements. He is from NIT Durgapur and he is here today to share his interview experience with us. So before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria. So all BTEC students were eligible provided they had a CGPA of 7.5 or above in the pursuing degree. So now let's go ahead and talk to Divas and understand his experience. Hi Divas, firstly congratulations on your placement and welcome to my channel. Uh, hi Jishnu, thank you so much. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Uh, surely. So uh, hello everybody, my name is Divas Gupta. I'm a final year student who's pursuing his B.Tech in Chemical Engineering from NIT Durgapur. Okay, uh, that's great. You can now tell us about the hiring process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of? Uh, surely. So for our college, mostly, for the hiring process, it was divided into four parts. Okay. Firstly, it was the resume shortlisting. For that, we were first given the requirements from the company and simultaneously, we were asked to fill up the forms. Okay. And accordingly, uh, as per the requirements, as the role for me was analyst. Okay. So according to the requirements, the company shortlisted uh, pe uh, people ac accordingly. Then we had an online round, online which consisted of multiple, uh, multiple types of questions. Like okay. firstly, it was some aptitude questions. Then it consisted uh, consisted of pseudo codes. We had to solve them. Those okay. the, those were of MCQ types, and some. Uh, data interpretation questions and then we had a basic coding questions like around three coding questions were there okay. and some logical reasoning questions so accordingly around eight comprised of 50 questions overall in which we had to uh, get a comprehensive score and accordingly we then got shortlisted okay then the next process it consisted of two parts firstly was the technical hr and then finally we had uh, one round with the director okay so firstly the round technical hr consisted of mainly uh, uh it consisted of questions like oh, tell me about yourself and some uh, basic like i am from chemical engineering right so they asked me some of the questions like if you are in chemical engineering why do you want to join core background okay. uh, are you are you are not joining core background and joining an it industry hmm. this was one of the questions the basic HR questions and then they went into straight into the coding questions like they gave me two to three uh, Python uh, programming questions then okay. uh, around you can ask they asked me some uh, puzzles guesstimates and and some case study questions as well okay like they asked me and moreover then they asked me some questions regarding that regarding my position of responsibility in my college okay like in, I guess in such interviews, your extracurricular activities have to be shown properly to the interviewer, hmm. so that we uh, they they can understand that you are not a one-dimensional person at all. Okay. Hmm. This was the process in the second, uh, the th third round, and the final round it consisted. Uh, some people had it in HR form, hmm. and for some people it was a direct round with the director of a Bangalore office of okay. credence. Okay. So in that, it mainly consisted of like, uh, they, he asked me some questions regarding my internship. Hmm. Like uh, explain my internship to him. Like I had done my in internship as a business analyst. Okay. So I explained my roles and what all duties I had to go through hmm. as a business analyst. Then my position of responsibilities. And like I have, I am the overall fest coordinator in Arohan. Okay. Our annual technical management fest. Okay. And uh, I'm a president of the club of Society of Automotive Engineers. So these all helped okay. during the interview. Mm -hmm. And then he uh, yeah, asked me some basic uh, case study questions. Like in such, uh, because we have to show our analytical skills and mm -hmm. problem solving abilities to the interviewer in this such interviews. Right. Especially for analysts and business analyst roles. Mm -hmm. Okay. And basically he asked me some about my hobbies and like I'm, I like to play basketball and other sports hmm. so he asked me about my um, past in such sports hmm. 
Okay. These were some of the uh, things. These are some of the processes how it happened in the interview. Okay. Okay. And the coding questions, can you tell us like what was the level of them? Like were they easy, medium, or difficult? Uh, the coding questions. as it was a of analyst role interview hmm. so the coding question were of medium level okay both so like uh, i can give you, i can give you an example of the question hmm. like it uh, there was one question which in which i was given a string and i had to uh, give the output as the occurrence of each and every al- uh, okay. alphabet in that string okay like this was the medium easy to medium level question were there okay okay so in the first round as well as in the interview both right In the first round, I guess uh, the question were a bit higher okay. level. Okay. Okay. As it was an online coding round, right. but uh, in the in, during the interview, it was a medium level. Okay. Okay. That's really great. Uh, thank you again for sharing your experience. And do you have any suggestions or anything that you learned from your experience? Ah, uh, surely. Like the the most important thing I learned from experience till now was that. you shouldn't be a one dimensional person mm-hmm. if you are trying to join corporate jobs okay you should be having uh, is good you have if you are good at studies hmm. but you should be also participating in extra curricular activities okay. as it's going to help you a lot okay. in the future for interviews as well hmm hmm and simultaneously i would suggest uh, people to go through case studies a lot okay because it shows you how to analyze some questions hmm. and how to approach the problems okay yeah these are some of the learnings i think Thing. and mostly if people go through if before the interviews hmm. people go through some guest emails hmm. like how to approach them hmm. so that will help them a lot okay this was some of the learnings i had okay that? that's that's great thank you again and congrats once again and uh, thank yeah. you so much for the interview so thank you everyone for watching this video please do like share and subscribe to my channel if you found this video helpful that would really help me out to bring in more people and more interview experiences from different companies so thank you for watching and do keep supporting me thank you